Goldsmith? Uh, yes, my lord. That bullion I gave you last time. Did you use the whole bullion to make this crown? Don't lie. I used the whole bullion for it. I can assure you, my lord. Uh... Bring me the scale. Take it! <laughs> wow. Huh. Is this crown pure gold? Is it? I can tell. You must have mixed something else in with it. <laughs> My lord, I assure you, this crown is just as heavy as the bullion you gave me. Archimedes! Archimedes, I want to know if this crown is pure gold. Uh? Huh. Hmm. The color looks funny. But the weight feels correct. Tell me now! <laughs> what? No biting the crown! <laughs> hey. Protect the, the king! king. <laughs> what are you doing? I just want to take a sample. No cutting! Uh, then... Eh? Uh -huh. uh. No! Hmm. Hmm. Whatever you do, <sighs> you must not damage the crown. Find the proof in three days, or I will cut off your head. <laughs> <laughs> How's he doing? Looks like he can't think of anything. He only has three days or he'll lose his head. Who cares? We just need to watch the crown. Oh. Just take a bath. Hmm. 
That's it! I got it! I got it! I got it! Eureka! I got it! I got it! I got it! going on? Why am I being arrested? Why, you say? Our committees has already got the proof. <laughs> Objects of the same volume do not necessarily weigh the same. Objects of the same weight do not necessarily have the same volume. So if we put the bullion and crown that are both made of the same volume gold in water buckets, water level changes must be the same for both buckets. If not, then the crown is not pure gold. <sighs> ah, changes in water levels are different. This crown is not pure gold. Oh, I'm sorry, my lord. Have mercy on me. I'm so sorry. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. I am sorry, my lord. Have mercy on me. Our committees finally figured out a way to inspect the crown, which proves the goldsmith is lying. Additionally, he also discovered the law of buoyancy. Ah, the upward force that keeps an object afloat. Hmm. Is equal to the magnitude of the weight of fluid displaced by the object. This is known as Archimedes' principle. Ah. This great discovery becomes how we calculate displacement volume today. Used with modern power technologies, vessels and ships can travel faster and for a longer distance. from man-powered battleships. To sailboats powered by the wind. then to liners that are steam-powered.
The applications and development of power technologies enable carriers or the mobile military base to travel to any place desired. Using this principle, a greater floating power can be created by increasing displacement volumes. A submarine can also change its weight by draining or filling water into its reserve tank while maintaining the same volume. So it can float or sink whenever it desires. these great inventions were streamed from the moment Archimedes discovered the law of buoyancy in the bathtub.